folks welcome back uh, thanks for joining me again um, right a very very quick pattern to tie now this is uh, something I keep getting here and people who are asking about is snail patterns because snails are very much on the menu at the moment and all big reservoirs and lakes and um, uh, beetle patterns top of the water pattern so this is kind of a crossover pattern that I've come to over the last couple of weeks and started using mainly because uh, I've had some days out with with clients and friends this last few weeks and uh, we've had some success with similar sort of patterns so this is my version um, predominantly going to be using this for uh, snails on Grafham uh, and for me the best sort of flies on Grafham for snail uh, feeders are dry so this one's going to be tied up as a dry version so hooking device is a 160 size 10 okay the thread we're going to be using is a UTC 70 in black all right so, so this is a dead quick fly to tie so we'll wrap through this nice and quickly if you enjoyed this folks um, as always please click like click subscribe leave any comments down in the comments box feel free to share thanks very much right let's get this on so we've got to build this up in layers okay because the actual time part of it is very quick it's just there we get the layers built up the first material I'm going to tie in is this stuff, is a pearlescent material. And this is just a pearlescent, a decorative wrapping. I think I picked up this up at a wedding or something like that. But you can see it's nice, it's see through. It's quite tough actually, it's pretty tough stuff. This. You'll pick this up on eBay or online or anything like that quite easily. But it's got that lovely reflective property, and you can also colour in over the top of it with a marker pen. It's going to keep that reflective property. So, what I'm going to do is just cut a little strip of that. It's just a little strip, it's about five, six mil wide. Okay, I've just tapered one end of it, and I'm going to catch that in just up here and just tie that down. That's just going to be my last part to come over the fly, so it's my first bit to tie in. Let's just get a catch over there, lovely, and just draw it out as you go back. I'm going to take this back just down to around the bend of the hook and to try and give it that slightly rounder shape. Not too important, really. I think the, it's the silhouette and the bulk in this is what's important. Next bit of this, I'm going to put an underbody in here, uh, one that's going to show through underneath. Um, and this is particularly relevant for the beetle pattern variation. And it's a couple of bits of peacock curl. Okay, I've just taken two strands of peacock curl. Uh, I think this pattern, and originally I was given a pattern by Nick Dunn, there's a similar sort of looking pattern. He ties it with different materials um, for the uh, when we went down to fish whales um, and we were fishing on the uh, cocky bondu patterns. And this was one of Nick's variations and uh, the other day I was out fishing with a chap called um, Andrew Moss and he had a little variation, different colours, different materials again that he tied up for the snails and both were very effective and it got me to thinking maybe we should have a play around with this. So now that we've tied these in here, I'm also going to take a foam cylinder, okay? Um, this is a 4mm foam cylinder, black foam cylinder. I'm going to bring it up, I'm going to tie it in just short of the head and really just stretch that out as I'm tying it back because I want this to lay pretty flat when it's going around this way and bring that all the way down to the bend of the hook okay it's just around the bend of the hook there bring the thread back up again nice and tight lovely okay come up with your peacock curl just nice touching turns all the way up it just gives it a nice reflective body from the leaf and as I say it's particularly I think appealing for when you're uh, fishing this as a beetle pattern because obviously those beetles have that shiny carapace and the shiny underneath with the legs as well so just catch that in tight in just at the head there and there's your tie this is dead quick trim off I'm going to come up now with our foam and I'm just going to pull the foam up just stretch it slightly not loads because I want to keep quite a lot of that bulk in there that's lovely that's fine now you can obviously vary this and vary the diameter of the foam um, thinner for smaller beetle patterns or nice and thick like this because this is going to be a snail imitation I'm just going to pop it in tie that and I'm going to trim this but I'm not going to trim it flush I like this particular one because I'm going to fish this dry I want this to have a certain little post up here so I'm going to fish it not quite as big as a top hat not as quite as big as a proper but we're still going to leave a nice little piece of foam up there it's going to help sit this fly up okay so I want this to float I'm going to come back over the top of this with my pearl sheet let's just get it nice and even I just want to stretch this as I'm pulling it over so again so it's fairly even all the way over and just take a catch in there that's lovely and then lock it down nice and tight 
Some materials are quite um, delicate, but this stuff I found is actually using on other patterns over the years. It's fairly robust stuff, so I'm not worried about the trout's teeth. And then trim that back there. And just to add a bit of extra life to this fly, we come in with a little bit of hackle just tied in behind the head there. So uh, I've got a black hen hackle there. Okay, I've just selected the feather. I'm just going to tidy that up a bit down here. I only want a couple of turns of this in there, so not loads. It just adds to a bit of extra fuss and a little bit of extra to the profile of the fly. And let's face it, with dry flies, you really are talking about the profile. So I'm just going to catch that in behind there. And then we're going to get a couple of turns in, trim that bit off. And grab that little hackle pliers and just give that once. Twice. That's all I really want. That'll do, mate. And then bring that thread up for it. Just to lock it in. Trim the waist. Bring your thread forward of the... Uh, the eye just under the eye there and that's where we're just going to finish off everything underneath there so dead easy to tie it and it will float nice and high in the water heavier hook i think we're going to use a heavy hook to make it cock at the back so it actually sits in the water you can play around with this um dependent on where you want it to sit in the water trim that off you can see that's got that lovely wrap over the back there gives it that nice shiny effect and from underneath there, that silhouette, definitely, definitely, any sort of snaily, beetly silhouette. This is quite a fat one, as I say, for this, because it's the, for the snail feeders in particular. So we're just going to finish that off with a little bit of varnish, just to secure the wrap there. Lovely, and that's all that we'll need. And that will sit up there and fish nice and dry very easily. Um, if you want to, should you want to change the colour of this, instead of going to use um, anything underneath it, tie an extra materials or go spending money on different shades, um, you can just very, very simply uh, take a marker pen, a permanent marker pen, and just come in, and uh, that's got a, a red on it, just a red marker pen that's just had the, just a Sharpie pen on it, and just come in and colour the top of that over. And you see that changes that completely, so that now goes from this, this so a snaily pattern, this one's thinner tied, so that's more of a beetly pattern now. So we'll get that in focus for you. You see the difference of colour there, and it's just going over the top of it with a marker pen, change the whole fly. Um, if you want this to fish a little bit more sunken, then simply don't put the post in it, okay? And just trim that little top hat off there, and that'll stop it from sinking. Excuse me for my phone going wild there. Uh, and that will stop it from sinking like that. No, that, sorry, that'll create it and make it start to sink a little bit more. Um, so dash to have a play around with them, but it's super easy to tie, super quick to tie, and a pattern that I think is going to be very, very effective. I'm certainly going to be giving them a swim. It's just an evolution of a couple of diff different tyres and what they've done and what I've come to the come to using. So I've enjoyed that. Sorry for that little disturbance for people going mad on Messenger. So obviously folks going fishing at Grafham tomorrow and they want to know the shoulds and shouldn't do's. Um, but thanks for watching. Please click like, click subscribe. And I hope to get some fishing videos out to you soon because we've got a couple of trips coming up. But uh, again, thanks very much. Bye-bye.